ए विपिन हैज ए क्वेश्चन फॉर सो कॉल्ड मेंटल पर्सन इन मेंटल असाइलम्स कैन इट बी सेट दे आर ट्रैप्ड इन द बॉडी बट मेंटली आर इन सम अदर प्रोजेक्टेड स्टेट्स आर ट्रैप दे आर इट सीम्स दे हैव नो सेंस ऑफ बॉडी पेन वट कैन बी सेड अबाउट दर कंडीशन नथिंग कैन बी सेड अबाउट दर कंडीशन एट लीस्ट वी कैन नॉट से दैट दे आर इन सम अदर वर्ल्ड सम अदर स्टेट विच इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द वेकिंग स्टेट दैट इज एब्सोलूटली नॉट पॉसिबल it is just a dysfunctioning mind that's all it is it is not in any special state because as you know that it takes heavy amount of practice and intense awareness and a lot of knowledge and intelligence to be in the projected states even after that even the most intelligent person cannot grasp it cannot understand what it is so it is a difficult job and a lunatic person is the least has as this least amount of possibility for that it is impossible for them to be in any other state other than the afflicted state so if you recall the video on the states this uh, classification of the states is given and the mental illnesses are the bottom most it is a dysfunctional activity of some kind you cannot even call it a proper state It's mostly like dead. It's a dead body there. That's all there is. Anisha, is can I ask a question? Yes, you can. Uh, just wanted to ask a question. Uh, in continuation with the mental uh, uh, conditions, what you just spoke about, uh, people who have mental disorders. Uh, what about uh, uh, people who have multiple uh, personality disorders? Uh, is that the same or uh, how does that uh, you know can you say something about those conditions please as you know the person is commonly called the ego which is the identity creator so the disorder means that uh, it has managed to create many identities which are sharing the same memory space now it is a disorder so it, it cannot be called a state the state is of madness only only that this kind of uh, madness has this kind of cause that's all can be said it is nothing special now there as we know that there is only one mind the memory is the universal memory so it is possible that there can be other influences there which are causing this uh, uh, presence of more than one personality and that is also an affliction because the protection of the boundaries of the person is not there so you can call it split personality or you can call it uh, influences of other personalities but from the point of view of the universal memory same disease mm. uh, uh, what comes to my mind is the serial killers and uh, uh, who usually uh, are diagnosed with multiple personality um like dr jekyll and mr hyde those kind of situations um cases uh thank you tarun ji thanks for the answer uh i wanted to know your opinion on uh, what is called as euthanasia or mercy killing uh because i i came across uh, a case uh, someone i knew uh, where they Uh, their condition health condition deteriorated this was a, a lady uh, nearly 80 years old and she was she had multiple health conditions and uh, her body was shutting down um, and she opted uh, for this uh, euthanasia uh, this was this happened in uh, united states when i was there and uh, Uh, even there in certain uh, states uh, it is uh, legalized uh, so uh, yeah i just wanted to know your thoughts on something like this see this falls under the case of morality or ethical or unethical mm-hmm. now in some of the cases and this thing is decided by the governments of those countries the wise people they sit down and make the laws so whatever is decided there 
should be obeyed by the citizen. This is our duty to obey that which our laws are saying. So if the law says that it is not good, it is unethical to kill such a person, we should treat them as far as, as long as possible, then that is good. Then we should do it. If the law says that it is okay to let go of the body, if it, if it has become irreparable, then we should obey that law. It's not a problem. The problem is when there is no such law or the problem is when the person is not happy with this law. There, there is the problem there. So on the path of knowledge, what do we say? Now it depends on the belief system of the person. So on the path of knowledge, we say that everybody is free to choose their ethics. They can choose whatever they want to do with this body. That is the teaching of the path of knowledge. And uh, does that make you above law? No. You will, whatever your belief is, you should always follow the law. And if there is absence of laws about this, or you are not taking the treatment from the hospital, like nobody knows what is going on with you, doctors are not present, and even your relatives have nothing to say there, then only you are free to decide for yourself. And no, you don't need somebody else to leave the body. The body will do it for you. It is very easy. Person who thinks that it is totally ethical to let go of the body, leave the body if it is broken completely, can make it look like a natural death. Nobody will come to know. It is possible. Those who are on the path of knowledge, they should prepare for the death. Just like I say many times. There is a proper way to die. There, this question will never arise. It is always death by choice, not by laws, not by accidents. That is the best way. So, it is not mercy of any kind. It is necessity on the path of knowledge. It is necessary to die in total awareness. Any more questions? No, thank you. Thanks for the answer.